Dude, dude, we finally made it. It's finally springtime. We got all the crops out. Everything's good. Everything's solid. We had a good harvest year. It is episode number 19 of No Creek. We're going to get going. So, the plan is... Oh, by the way, if you haven't, go ahead and check out Ironside Gaming. If you're looking for a gaming PC to play some farm sim on, Ironside's got them pre-built and stuff. Go check them out. Yeah, I got a 5% off discount code called Squad. So, we're going to be trucking the Ford with the Ford, and we're going to be trucking some grain today. We're gonna. I also want to buy a equipment trailer, like heavy equipment trailer, not just the 40 foot we got over here. Cause I mean, the Cummins in 40 foot, don't get me wrong. They'll haul a lot of equipment, but just not as much as I want to. Like I want to be able to haul like a combine. And so we're going to use the semi and stuff to do that. We're not going to do it today, but we're going to sell some grain because I'm going to rack up. So we're going to sell a lot of grain today. Cause I'm going to try to rack up some money and we're going to power wash off all the equipment. Just get everything kind of ready to go for spring to shed everything. Cause we got a little ways so we can actually like get in the field and stuff. There's still snow on the ground. So we got a ways even even though it is early spring early spring there could be some blizzards and stuff yet too yet still so i guess first things first the combine everything's down here i got it okay not everything there's a couple okay should we finish this off we okay we gotta jump with the combine one more time we gotta just finish this i can't have it looking like this we cannot have it looking like this and by the way it was like yesterday yeah it would have been yesterday i was streaming i streamed for like 20 minutes while i was finishing this and i'm not gonna post it as a video it was just like if you were on you could come in and watch me play for a little bit for like 20 or 30 minutes we were just streaming just hanging out with the boys and we were just finishing all this corn right here and that's what we got done besides i guess i forgot to finish this for some reason i always miss like a little strip right here it's kind of funny how the animations are going look there's only one row but yet there's like three 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 stocks going in at the header at once look at it oh wait now there's two okay hold on but if i go here there's three eh it's fine it looks kind of cool i guess more corn the better are we gonna even get to one percent look down below are we gonna even fill this thing one percent we probably will ah you know what i bet we don't ah you know what oh let's see if we do i guess oh <laughs> and then we got yeah and then after this it'll be done we still have some corn back in those grain carts but that's about it are we going to fill it? Oh, it filled the 1%. Oh, dude. There's no way you're gonna, we're getting to 2%, though. Okay. I'm going to put that up, and we're just going to drive back. And I got to I think I'm going to do the follow me mod to get, like, all of this equipment back there. I think that's the best way. Hopefully, I can get everything working properly. So, it's like a little train heading back to the farm is my plan. And then we got to power wash every single piece of equipment. We got to load the semi with corn and and i'm gonna load some of these gravity wagons with corn we're just gonna sell a lot right now because the price is pretty good i haven't sold it's been a while since i've sold and so we're gonna sell like half of the corn i got in storage right now in the bins right now okay should we have the combine lead the way would that be smart i'm trying to think what would be the best piece of equipment to lead the way over here gosh i don't know okay we're gonna i guess we'll follow with the uh... okay that is completely full sweet that works good I gotta remember this corn in the combine because I'm probably gonna forget. And I, dude, rumor is Spencer TV has been repoing my equipment, but he does not know I repoed it back from him. I didn't repo it back. I stole it back. I stole what's mine back from him. So we still have our planner and we still have the dozer here. Even though I was considering getting that, hopefully you guys saw it, but there's a new dozer out there that has a winch and it looks sweet. It's good. It's a case dozer. I was considering get that, but. I think the Cat D9 is like a perfect for an old farm dozer type of thing. Wait, I thought we started her up. There we go, 8410. She didn't want to start up there. She didn't want to start up. Okay, 8410 really needs power wash. Look how dirty this thing is. Oh my gosh. Hopefully the 4955 is going to be able to follow. Man, I hope it can. Oh, dude, look at the gravity wagon. Oh, it's just swaying around back there. Oh, dude. Oh, we missed a little bit of corn. Whatever. I'll kind of knock her down with the tractor. Just so she look. I don't think it's going to knock down. It's probably going to go right through the tractor. Yep. Okay. And we're just going to do the follow me mod right behind the grain cart. And then the last thing is the Ford. Oh, I guess the Razor too. The Razor, I kind of want to just like drive up there. I don't really want. Ah, we'll see if the Razor follows, I guess. Why not just see if she'll fall? Okay. We'll jump in the 4955. Fire her up. 
There we go. Come on. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Sweet. Now we should be able to go. Now the 4955, she spins a lot and she doesn't do good in the snow, but it's a good thing I did not put grain in these. Because if I did, oh my gosh, the 4955, it has a tough time pulling it. Compared to the 8410, the 8410 actually pulls pretty good in the snow. 4955, it's tough. It's tough for the 4955. But luckily, it doesn't have any grain, so we should be good, I'm hoping. Okay, we're going to do the follow me mod here. Oh, dude, I hope this train works. I really hope this train works. The last one is the Razor. Now, if this actually works and I can get everything up there, oh, man, I'd be so surprised if it does. The old Razor. I guess it's brand new. The four-seater. Dude, what do you guys think of this thing? The four-seater Razor. This thing looks like a beast. I love it. Turbo. 1000 cc we put a hitch on her we can pull some grain carts we can pull some gravity wagons we can do whatever with this baby there we go now one thing is it doesn't want to like jump like perfect like it'll want to like nose dive always it's kind of it kind of sucks so it's kind of tough to jump even though some guy wanted me to create a big snow pile and jump it i was considering doing that but it's it's really tough to jump to be honest Okay, hopefully everything goes good. I don't know if I'm following the gravity wagon right here or if I'm following the tractor. I don't know what I just set it on. I think I might have set it on the gravity wagon. But we'll see. Here we go with the combine. Now, hopefully we don't get stuck on our way there. It's going to be a little muddy because, you know, it's 45 degrees out, so the snow is melting. You'll see some open spots coming through here. Okay, I got to figure out the best path there. It looks like it compacted some of this through here, so I think this is going to be the best path. Just find the stuff that i compacted look we can kind of see the ground a little bit and then oh dude equipment wise oh i'm considering buying some new equipment like really training around for some bigger stuff i don't know i don't know what you guys think but i think i think it's time to get some bigger stuff also like livestock i i kind of to be okay i'll be completely honest here i don't really want to do cows because cows i don't know they seem like really so much time and stuff on and i'm usually doing chores like a ton of the time compared to where i'm in the field and so cows get kind of annoying that's why i'd like to do pigs but on this map you can't do pigs or sheep you can only do cows and so maybe i should do cows and just try it just with a couple cows you know like 20 or so because the pasture over here it's kind of it's kind of cool i heard um how the cows go in the pasture dude is everything working everything is working everything's following this is awesome this is awesome everything's working okay this is the path we're supposed to be on over here, I'm thinking. We're just going to keep working our way up. So, yeah, plans. Maybe if I buy cows, i got to buy them right now, though. That's the thing. I really need to buy them. Hey, okay, dude, if you guys want me to, put down in the comment section if you guys actually want livestock. And we'll buy 20 cows next episode. Or maybe not. Ah, uh, yeah, next episode. We'll buy 20 cows next episode if you guys really want it. If you don't want it, put no, I don't want cows. Whatever is the top comment is what we'll do so we're either gonna buy cows or we're not gonna buy cows and over the summer we'll make some hay and stuff so if we do end up buying cows that'll be nice it's just there it takes a lot and if i'm buying 20 cows i might as well buy more you know because i can make a ton but who knows we can make a ton of straw um i guess we don't even get straw yeah we won't even get we won't even be able to get any straw really unless they plant wheat i'm trying to think how we could get straw anybody know could you bail and you can't you can't just grow straw. Yeah, I'd have to plant like wheat or something. So maybe we'll have to plant a wheat field. Just one wheat field just for straw. And obviously we'll take the wheat out of there. Oh, dude. Are we going to be able to fit down here, guys? 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 Oh, dude. Oh, dude. How did I get down here? Does anybody... Oh, oh, the header trailer. That's right. I forgot about the header trailer. Oh, no, no, no. Hopefully we can make it through here. Oh, dude. This barely fits through here. Okay, now nah, we're good. That's right. See, I told you guys, I remember a couple episodes ago, I was like, don't let me leave the header trailer. And we, lo we left the header trailer. So I have to go, oh, I could go back down there. Maybe I'll take the razor back down there and just go grab that header trailer. For now, I guess I'm just going to leave the corn head on the ground. Oh, dude, while we're going through here, I'm going to harvest some of this corn quick. Why not? Hopefully we can make it up here, though. Haha. <laughs> There we go. Everything's going to be falling up. Now, hopefully, everything's going to be able to make it up here. I don't know. Oh, dude. Hopefully, it is. There we go. <laughs> okay. There's the farm right there. Now, I'm just going to cross this field. It's nice because some of the snow melted. Otherwise, I'd have a lot tougher time getting through here. It's kind of it's kind of different. It's a little soft and stuff. 
There we go. Eight Ortiz just falling. Look at it. It just follows my tracks perfectly. I like it. Eight Ortiz is trying to catch up now, I'm thinking. And you know what? I'm just going to drive. I'm just going to... We're just going to beeline it straight towards that shed right over there. And then I guess I got to put the header in the shed. We got to wash off everything. The header's not too dirty. Even the combine is not too dirty. But I'm thinking about getting a new combine. So we might as well wash her off. Look at those tracks go. They're just vibrating along there. Dude, that's sweet. Looking at that. Look at this. This beast. I love it. You can see the tracks. Dude, the animations on the tracks are amazing. Look at those. I guess it isn't even a mod. It's it's part of in-game, so it's gonna it's gonna be amazing, I guess. Okay, so I need to get Ooh, dude, I said I was gonna get grain loaded out and we were gonna sell it, so I gotta get on that. Maybe we'll only sell a semi-load for now. We'll keep the gravity wagon loads just, just around here and we'll do the gravity wagons later. I'd like to get a semi-load. So if we get because corn prices are good, I think it's like Thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars per liter. So, I could fill that Wilson trailer with eighty thousand liters, and then from there we could we could get over a hundred thousand dollars from one trailer load. Oh boy, wrong spot, wrong spot. We got to put the header. Tra Ooh, where am I gonna put this header? Okay, for now I'm gonna stop the follow me mod on every single piece of equipment back here. It all worked out good, dude. Thank God. I was, I honestly did not think it was all gonna work. That's awesome. I love the Fall Moon mod. It's nice, especially... There we go. And then I'm going to start a multiplayer map soon. Like, a bigger multiplayer map soon, to be honest. I'm waiting for, like, UMRV version 3 to come out. I'm waiting for... There's a couple new maps I've been talking to people that they may have been releasing soon. That they're, they're going to release soon. So I'm kind of waiting to hear from them on the maps. That's what that's what we're kind of doing right now. Because I want to get a new, like, a new map that, like, nobody's ever used before. Is the goal. Okay, we got everything stopped. Now, I'm going to put the header. Ah, I don't think I can get it in there. We're going to put it, like, kind of next to the dozer over there. And then, ooh, I need that header trailer. I really need that header trailer. I'm going to run down with the racer. We're going to go pull that header trailer up here. That way, we can put the header. We don't have to leave it on the ground. And then we can finally store the cum. Or I could put it just on that trailer. Whatever. Razor time it is. Let's see how fast we can get down there, dude. This thing flies. Too bad I don't have three more people riding with us. We'd have a full razor, dude. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, my previous videos, but you can actually fit four actual, like, farm sim players in here. We need to do, oh, we need to do some type of, g oh, boy, oh, boy. Don't hit the fence, don't hit the fence. Don't flip, please don't flip. Okay, there we go. We need to do some type of game, like teams of four. And each team gets a razor. Eight players total on a server. And we do some type of game with teams of four. Like hide and seek or something. I think that would be super fun. When you have four people riding in a razor. And then another uh, another team of four people and one razor like searching. Just two razors total. Oh, I think that would be super fun. I gotta Maybe for a live stream we'll do that soon or something. Okay, we're going to hook up to this other trailer. And we're going to race it back there. Now hopefully we can go... I don't know if we can go that fast as we came, but hopefully we can hopefully we can go decently fast with this. Oh boy, did I not hook up to it? There we go. Sweet. We're getting out of here. Oh yeah, we could fly. Now I'm not even gonna look back. Oh my gosh, I did look back. Look at that chili. It just swinging around there, dude. Oh maybe I should have looked back. Okay, it's handling decently, I guess. Should we get some air? Let's get a little air, baby. <laughs> Oh, where's that header trailer at? Okay, thank God. Usually, if you look to your right a little bit and you see that header trailer to your right, that's not a good sign because it's probably whipping around there. Okay, where's my trail? Okay, it's right here. Dude, I love this razor. We can fly through here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, no, no. I was worried about that. I was worried about that. That header trailer hit back from... Hit, hit behind there. There we go. Now, in real life, razor pulling a header trailer? Yeah, probably. If the headers are actually on there, it'd be a lot tougher. Those headers weigh a lot. Oh, <laughs> forget the air, baby. Okay, we're coming flat, dude. This is nice having a razor. We can just run, race down here. Now, if I had the comments, obviously we won't be able to go as fast as we are now. now I'm going to pull up here and just see. It's always tough seeing what side it goes. the header goes on. Like, I'll pull under here and I'll be like, oh, nope, it's the other way. So, i got to figure out what way it goes on the... Oh, we're going to get caught. We are going to get caught. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, I think it's... Dude, it's going to be tough backing this up. I'll try, though. 
I think it's I think it's gonna be this way. There we go. I'm gonna have to scoot the combine up yet, but I think we got it. I think we got it. Come on, come on, come on. It should be good enough. Okay, now I gotta move the combine quick. Oh boy, we're inside the header. There we go. Start of the combine. And I think I got it the right way this time. I don't know how this header locks in. It seems if you get it the right way, it'll stay. It'll just like seem like it's locked in even without pressing any buttons to actually lock it in. Here we go. I don't know if this is the right way. Nope. Okay. Maybe we gotta go back a little bit. Oh, dude. Oh. Okay. It. Uh, I don't think that was the right way. Okay, we're gonna leave it like that as long as it just stays on. It seems like it's staying, doesn't it? Yeah, it's staying. Okay, sweet. As long as it just don't hit anything with it, should be locked on there. For some reason, it's like a, it's like a magnet. It just sticks on there. I don't know what it is. Oh boy, are we gonna be able to get through here? Oh gosh. Oh boy, we hit the beam. Header. Oh. There we go. We're getting in here. So this is like my header shed. It's only used for headers. I did use it for some hay at once, but the hay disappeared after two days. Or it was grass that disappeared after two days. So it kind of sucked. So razor's going to be good. We're going to put the razor away. Just back in the shed. Just drift around here. Oh, look at it. Okay. Um, Where are we going to fit this thing? Does anybody know where we're going to fit this baby? This Oh, dude. I don't know. We're going to have room for this baby. Okay. I'm just going to put her. We're going to have to go real tight there. Okay, right there should be good. We got to get this semi truck out. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to get the truck out and I'm going to hook it up to the Wilson grain trailer. And we're going to try to get loaded out with grain and try to sell something. That's the goal for this video. The grain trailer's in. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. Oh, we hit it. We hit the workstation. Okay, the grain trailer's in here. I'm going to just put the semi right here for now. And we're going to... The goal is to get all this washed up, too. There's a lot of goals for this video. Okay, get the 8RT and the Brent grain cart washed up. Where are we going to put the grain cart, though? i got to figure out where I'm going to put this. Because at first, I always had it. I, I always just kept it in the big machine shed. But we don't, we're not going to use it for a while. So i got to put it in some storage shed. It's either going to be this one right here or the one way back here with the planter. If I can fit it in there, though. But we got to wash this stuff off quick. Oh, that's right. Now i got the semi sitting in front of that shed that i got to wash off. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, dude. Keep making... Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. I forgot we're on snow still, so it has a tough time turning. There we go. Now, these tracks, I can never seem to get completely clean. They seem to be clean a little bit. But it's the tracks on this thing. I can never get them clean unless I just hold it here is it going away there's a little dirt and mud on him I can't for some reason man on this 8RT that one's clean okay it's getting there it's getting there we're doing it we're getting progress there we go they're getting clean look at them okay now they're finally clean it just takes forever on the tracks I don't think the grain car actually gets dirty but I'm gonna wash it off anyways why not there we go. Okay, I think it should be good. Now, I'm going to move this semi, and hopefully we have enough room. Ah, we don't. Okay, well, if I pull out... Okay, okay, you know what? We'll have enough room if I pull out this Wilson trailer. We should. Yeah, we'll have enough room if I pull out the Wilson trailer. Now, hopefully... Can we attach? I need to get that manual attach mod done, I guess. There we go. We're attached. But what, what, dude, what's happened? Okay, there we go. For some reason, we couldn't get out of there. Sweet. Yeah, as you guys saw, my planter's still in there. Okay. The truck's out. And that's a cat engine, by the way, on this truck. I don't know if you guys knew that. I put a cat. You could either put a Detroit engine in there or a Caterpillar engine. I was like, I got to go with cat. Even though Detroit diesel sounds pretty cool, too. Okay. Now, the plan is to just back this baby in here. Fall good. There we go. Oh, dude. Okay, I don't want to hit anything. I do not. Oh, boy. Oh, we're going to hit the planner. We're going to hit the planner. There we go. Dude, I love this setup with the 8RT and the Brent grain cart with tracks. Uh, just tracks on tracks just seems sweet. Okay. We're going to go back here. Right about there, you guys think's good? There we go. Even though it's not all the way back there. 
Okay, so 8RT, grain cart, good to go, good to shed. We're going to put the 8RT in the shed. I'm going to just tuck it way back here, even though once spring comes, we'll, we'll really be using this 8RT as long as I don't sell it. Ooh, what's going to happen there? Am I going to sell the 8RT? Gosh, some people are probably getting nervous. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, don't, I have no plan yet. Okay, 8RT is just going to go right here. Ooh, I, I got to move that snowblower out of there, too. That's one thing I got to do. There we go, 8RT's put away for the rest of the winter and early spring. Now, it's uh, 8410 with, do we have? Okay, we do, we do, we do. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna put these in the shed. Watch, at least they won't get any moisture in them, so. We're not gonna go sell these right away. The 8410, man, this thing is dirty. She needs washed, she really needs washed. Okay, we gotta go See, the reason why I want to truck in that grain is because I really want to drive this semi, and I want to hear you. You guys have heard the engine before, but it sounds it sounds amazing, so I want to start trucking a little more with it. Okay, hopefully it all works good and we can get through here, because I don't know. If it might be a little tough. There we go. Especially with the duels, it gets tough getting through here. Okay, and then what I do is I swing wide, and then I come back a little ways. Oh, dude, if we can make it. Come on, come on, come on, make the turn. There we go. That should be good. See, and then I can throw the other gravity wagons in there too. But right now, we got to wash off, wash off the 8410. I'm going to take the duels off just for the winter, just so we can have more room in the sh room in the shop. And maybe we'll put them back on. I guess I haven't seen the 8410 without duels. Dude, this thing goes sliding. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Back up a little bit. I don't know what's going to be our planner yet. Tra planner tractor yet. Is the 8410? Is the 8RT? I have no idea yet what's going to be the planter tractor. Customize. We'll go... I think it's row crop, right? It's got to be. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Okay, took the duels off the 8410, but she's still dirty. Let's just fire her up. Just move her right here. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it looks sweet without duels, too. I always just think changing it up looks cool. So we're just going to take them off for a little bit. I don't know. Spring, we'll probably have to throw them back on, you know? Of course. Just wash all this stuff up. It is dirty, dirt, dirty. There we go. There we go. She's looking a little better now. Oh, yeah. Okay, that one cleaned up really fast. There we go. 8410 is cleaned up. As long as we don't get her dirty on the way to the shed, we should be good. Now, I got to figure out where to put this in the shed. I think we'll have enough room for equipment. We should. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It sounds like the razor's still on or something over there. Okay, keep pulling forward. Back up. Now, where is this going to go? I'm thinking, can we fit in there? Yeah, why not? There we go. Oh, boy. Pull forward a little bit. And then I'm not going to hook it up to the snowblower. I'll just put it right in front of the snowblower. Move her a little bit more. The 8410 honestly looks like the biggest tractor we have here. Oh, my gosh. Look at it compared to the 4440. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> oh, dude. The size difference. 8410. Actually, that would make sense about. That seems like it makes sense. Uh, the rear duels. Look at the uh, duels. But other than that, it kind of makes... 4440 is kind of a small tractor, too. So, last thing is the 4955. And we are just going to do the same thing with these gravity wagons. Just put them in the shed and just kind of angle them so we can fit both in there. And we're going to wash this guy off. And I think we'll keep the duels on. Yeah, we'll just keep the duels on the 4955. It'll be used. It'll definitely be used for some spring tillage. So, we got to keep the duels on. Unless we sell the 4955. Ooh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Are we going to sell her? Okay, I got to make it in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because it is not good at turning. Come on. Make it. Make it. There we go. It's tough fitting in here with all these duels on here. There we go, dude. We could even pull some down the middle. Do we unattach? Yeah, we did. I just can't get out of here. There we go. We got out of here. Now the last thing is to wash it up quick. Put it in the shed. And then I guess we got the combine too. What's it, Where's the combine at? Oh, the combine must be back there still. Oh, we're going sliding. Oh, dude. It's so tough driving in the snow. It doesn't want to turn. There we go. Now the duels on this might take a while to wash off. And you know what? They're getting better pretty quick. There we go. 
There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Sweet, they're good. Okay, well for some for a second I thought that air compressor was my power washer. There we go. Now hop in the 4955. We'll just back in the shed. Now I gotta we're probably just gonna pull this one or we're gonna back it in, but we're gonna just put it right out front here, I'm thinking. Well I guess we will have enough room for everything. There we go. Now back up. And I'm just gonna oh boy. Oh dude. She keeps sliding out a little bit. Yeah, we'll easily have enough room. We could get some more equipment if we wanted. There we go. Sweet. I guess we got to fit the semi in here too yet, so I didn't think about that. The combine does not... I guess we should probably... Ah, it doesn't need wash really, guys. Do I see any dirt on the combine? Literally any dirt. Okay, I think the combine's good to go. I think we don't need to wash the combine. Oh, but there is some... Oh, that's right. There's some corn in here yet. I'm going to dump this into the semi over here. Just to get all this corn out because I knew I was going to forget about this corn. Throw the pipe out as long as we don't hit any trees. Oh my gosh, that pipe. I didn't realize how long that pipe is. Okay, we're going to... Yeah, we're definitely going to hit something if we keep the pipe out. I've got to swing around here and then, then I should be able to throw the pipe out. Right over here. Make the turn. Somehow we're turning. Those back tires do pretty good turning. There we go. Now we can throw the pipe out and just unload. Just It'll take literally a second to unload all this. 1%. 1%. There we go. Look how easy that was. Okay, here we go. Going over the big snowbank. Sweet. Now it's time to put the combine away. Now the auger on this combine is insanely... Dude, are we going to be able to fit this combine in here? It should fit without... I wish you could fold the com... Oh, there we go. I was like, I wish you could fold the combine. I forgot about folding it. There we go. You know what? We'll put this way to the back. Yeah, we dude, we have so much room in here. There we go. Now I gotta shut off all this stuff. 49.55. She's rolling coal in my shed. Gonna burn a hole in the ceiling. And now it's time to load grain. This is gonna be kind of a long video. Now I gotta move. Oh, dude, we need a tractor. We need a tractor, boys. Let's get the let's get the international out. How about? There we go. I need to take off these duels. I really need to take off these duels. But I'm going to hook up to this auger, and we got to move the auger to be able to load the semi. This is the whole goal here. So, dude, this steer is good in the snow, too. I like it, even though it shouldn't, because it's two-wheel drive. It does. Oh, boy. We just jumped in here. There we go. Customize. Take off. There we go. We'll keep the weights on. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the weights on this? I kind of like the weights. They look pretty good. Anyways, we're going to hook up to this auger over here. And we got to move it to the other side of the bins where you unload the bins. So that we, we can load up the semi. It might actually take a while to, to load up this semi. Because the auger's not insanely fast. Okay, here we go. Can we hook it up? There we go. I got to start putting it down. We got to lower it. Wait, is it going up? I think I was going up there. Okay, there we go. Now we're going down. Sweet. It takes forever to go down. Just slowly, slowly, slowly. And then I'm just going to move it over here quick. There we go. Okay, I think auger's down good enough. I'm thinking, hopefully. Should be good. There we go. Now I can start filling it. And auger should be filled with corn. There we go. Sweet. Now I got to just pull the semi under and we should be ready to go. We should be ready to go. There we go. Just right here. And it'll start unloading. And then I got to start loading this quick. Oh. There we go. Okay, now it should run forever. Hopefully it runs forever now. Sweet. We're filling out. Finally. We're making some goals this time. Now, it's probably going to take a while to fill this out. Oh, that's loud, too. It's insanely loud. There we go. 30%. Yeah, so it will... Dude, it's sweet just watching this run. Obviously, you know what I can do on this auger? I can put out here. The hopper. There we go. So, it looks a little better. See what it did? Just put out the hopper right here. Even though it's still flowing through the hopper, it looks a little more realistic right there. Dumping corn. Going up the auger. Dumping in the semi. I probably should move the semi up a little bit now that we're getting kind of full over here. There we go. Now we're filling this back part. It's 75% full already. Oh, dude. Are we going to be able to pull with this semi, guys? 
She's 75% full already. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's 100%. It's time to sell some corn. Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Dude, please. There we go. We're going. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, now it's time to go sell it. I'm not going to give up now. We're going to go sell it. We're going to finish this video, and we're going to do everything I said I was going to do. Okay, I usually get stuck over here. Come on, power through, power through, power through, power through. There we go, we got her. Okay, it's now now time to take the road. You guys gotta listen to this thing go. Shift quick. There we go. Shift. Let's get top speed, baby. What's top speed? 60 mile an hour? Okay, we better slow it down on the curve. You guys see that break? <laughs> There we go. Straight away, baby. Give her, give her all you got. It's sweet listening to this thing go. Oh, we can barely climb up here. We're just staying in the same gear. There we go, now we can really get going. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Okay, how many gears have I gone through? Like seven already? Oh, there we go. Can we hit 62 mile an hour, boys? Should we, should we test her out? One more gear to go. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. We hit 62, sweet. Okay, we maxed out. I gotta slow down here a little bit. Cause this curve gets a little sketchy. Okay, yeah, and there's snow on the curve. We better slow down. Do not want to slide out. Oh boy. Come on. Handler. Handler. There we go. Sweet. We're just about here. Now, how much money are we going to get? We're going to get roughly. I, I can check corn prices one more time quick, but I'm guessing way over $100,000 is what we'll get from this load. Don't put her in the ditch. Sweet. We should be good. Okay. Uh, corn prices. Quick, quick, quick. 1300 not bad not bad bean prices are pretty good right now too oh 1300 here we go oh boy we went past we went way past there we go so we are at 144 is what we're at let's see how much we actually get we're selling she's unloading insanely fast there there we go selling it to the elevator did we beat it? Did we beat it? We're close. We're close. We're close. Okay, we beat it. Oh, a hundred and two thousand dollars. There we go. So we almost have two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Also, I'm considering adding this sell field mod and selling some fields and then buying some other fields. This guy recommended it to me, so I'm kind of looking into that. We may get that mod soon. But this is gonna be the end of No Creek. Some farming on No Creek. I think it's episode number nineteen. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, go and drop a like. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.